Hey guys, how you doing today? Today on To Taste, we're going to do some fun. I like corn dogs, but I don't like that deep frying all the time. So I thought, why not corn dog pancakes? So what I have is this corn bread and muffin mix, a little bag. So we're going to, actually we're going to follow the directions on the back. But we're going to add a little bit more milk because we want it to be like pancake batter. So we have put the bag in here, the cornbread mix. And this is two tablespoons of melted margarine, or you could use butter. I just, you know, melted it in the microwave. So we're going to pour that in. And we got one egg. I always want to crack it separate, just in case. And it calls for, I do believe, a third of a cup of milk. So we're going to put the one third. And we're going to keep our milk here because I know we're going to need more. But you want to add a little at a time because, you know, you could always add, but you can't take away. So we're going to mix it up. And I've got some hot dogs getting some char on there in my little frying pan. And I got my griddle going because we want to make sure that's hot enough. Beat this pretty good. Uh, you might want to leave your milk out too because sometimes when this batter sits, it tends to thicken. So you could add a spoonful at a time, like a tablespoon, to just thin it out again. So we need a little bit more milk. And I'm just gonna do like a tablespoon, like a tablespoon and a half almost. Sometimes you just have to eyeball it. And yeah, that's getting good. And I'm just frying up my hot dogs and a little bit of butter. I cut them in little quarters because we're gonna throw it in the batter. All right, that looks good. Here. And this is my paper towel too. Just take some of the excess butter off. If there is any, there doesn't seem to be too much. I didn't really put a lot, I just put very little just to coat the pan. I'm just gonna block that a little. Make sure our pan is hot. You don't want it smoking, but you want it hot. Okay, indoor little dog. You don't want to use any. Okay, toss this in the sink. And just, you know, gently stir it around. Now we're going to put just a little bit of oil on our not stick griddle or you could even use margarine if you like just enough to coat it and we're going to spread that around I thought it would be something fun to do I love corn dogs and I think this would be really nice with you know put maple syrup on it too and, or you could put your mustard ketchup relish whatever you like and we're going to use my death ladle. This is what my kids call my death ladle. I bought it at a flea market for like a buck. But up here it's got like a ship. You now it's got like dragon heads or something. It says Norwich. I think it, somebody must have made this. It's not manufactured. It was handmade. That reminds me of Christopher Columbus. And down here kind of looks like something oriental, like an oriental house. But you can see on the back that it's two pieces and soldered together. It's not cut evenly or anything. And the name on there is H Tin, T I N N. So, anyway, we're going to use the death ladle. Okay, that batter's still okay. And you, we're not going to make them really big, we're going to make them kind of small, kid size. Kids would probably have a ball making this. It's so simple. They could 
mix the stuff, but you know, mom or dad has to watch them as they put it on the griddle. Unless, of course, they're older children who know how to cook. Get some hot dogs in there. Kind of a nice, maybe rainy day cooking project. Teach your kids to cook so they don't starve. They don't need fast food all the time. Let me get a little plate to put these on because they're going to cook up pretty quick. pan out of the way because then we can talk about things that we can add in this pancake batter. Um, you can add in like green onions, you could add in cheddar cheese or like Monterey Jack cheese, um, you could do like cut up little pieces of maple sausage like breakfast links, cook them first then cut them up, put that in. You could put in bacon, cheddar cheese, and jalapeno peppers. I mean, you can go wild with this stuff. You know, it'd be really cool. So, now they're starting to get their little bubbles on top. You can see that. So that means that they're going to be ready to flip in a little bit. They shouldn't take, they do take a little bit longer than a regular pancake because the batter is just slightly thicker. You don't want it like really running because then it'll go all over the place. Yeah, it's getting there. And what other kind of add ins can you put in? Apples, like apples and cinnamon, apples and bacon. Yeah, apples and bacon, that would be really good. Oh, maybe some little bit of shredded cheddar cheese. Oh, or when you flip them over, maybe sour cream. Just spread some sour cream on there. That would be good, too. I think this middle one is ready to go. Oh, maybe not quite. Oh, can't get it off. Oh, we're just going to flip it. Oh, there we go. Okay, that looks pretty good. Nice and golden. Grab this one. Sometimes they need a little help. Peel that off. That's why I put foil all over everything so I can, like, you know, just like put stuff on it and then I can just change my foil later and I don't have to wash the stove because the stove stays nice and clean. So there you go. You got a nice little corn dog pancake and you don't have to go out for it. Sometimes keep the stuff in the house like I think I bought those little bags they were on sale at they were like at the dollar store or something like three for a dollar so you buy them you keep them they're good can use it for anything you don't have to just make like muffins or cornbread thin it out a little bit more and you got pancakes okay we're gonna check yeah that's done you can see how nice and golden that is on the bottom I think I need to spray something on vegetable oil on my pancake lifter. That one's nice and done. And that one's nice and done. Nice and golden. Oh, well, guys, I'm going to have lunch because I love my little corn dogs. I'm going to get the mustard out. So I hope you guys try these. Simple, plain, fast, and fun. So we will see you here next time on Two Taste. Remember guys, life is good.